my name is Rory McKean. I'm the CEO of Franklin Robotic, and this is Turtle. Turtle is a solar-powered weeding robot for home gardens. So it's a little robot that lives in a vegetable garden or flower garden, and then every day it charges itself up in the sunlight, and then when the battery gets full, it wanders around, it avoids plants or obstacles, and it cuts down the weeds. So I chose SolidWorks. It was it's sort of the right tool for, for the job for us. Um, you know, we have a complex mechanical system. Um, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of parts that um, interact pretty tightly, and we need to make sure we have good control over those. Um, and SolidWorks is, is sort of the obvious tool for us. I'm Joe Jones, and my uh, role in Franklin Robotics is I'm the, the CTO, so I basically uh, try to create the architecture for, uh, for robots. It's really hard to build a practical robot. The way that you build one is by finding an application uh, that exploits the strengths of robots without, without too much exposure to the weaknesses of robots. And we have found a really cool application for a robot, a weeding home gardens. Uh, we'll be the first to exploit that, and uh, there's a market that's about 10% the size of the robotic floor cleaner market. So what we're trying to solve is how do you get people to grow food and how do you get people to think about the world around them and how the environment is affecting them and how they are infecting, affecting the environment. And so what we're trying to do is to encourage people to do that by uh, addressing one of the frustrations and one of the reasons people often don't start in the first place or give up once they even have started. And that's getting rid of the weeds. Several of us were doing some experiments with different ways of getting weeds out of the ground. After a while it turned out that the, be the thing that worked best and was the most satisfying is when you just whack the weeds and you, you knock them down and, and they're gone. After that, the next thing that we did was to build uh, a little robot out of Lego. Uh, we tested that in the garden. It looked promising, so we built another robot, also two wheels. Uh, it, the, the mobility wasn't good enough. Uh, it couldn't get up a steep slope. So then we went to a four-wheel drive robot. That worked better, but it still wasn't good enough. Finally, we went to a, a round design Whenever it's bumped into something, it can always turn in place. It, it can always spin. And that was the problem with the other, uh, the non-round designs. You know, SolidWorks has been really helpful. It's really quick to, to iterate and to, to test out different designs, um, be able to print those and get it in your hands really quickly. Um, and it's also been really good because it allows us to uh, communicate quickly with uh, our industrial design partners as well, um, and they use SolidWorks as their native tool. So, so I heard about the SolidWorks Entrepreneur Program uh, via Mass Challenge, that was, uh, which is an accelerator that we went through, um, and that turned out to be great for us, and that's been really helpful as we get the company going to be able to have access to a tool like SolidWorks.